mix of rain and snow today as the first significant winter storm of 2024 moves into the region. Some of you are just seeing rain, but if you live west and north of the city, you're getting snow. Yeah, here's a live look at uh, Schaumburg at this hour, Fat Flakes. We're going to check in with our Julian Cruz in just a minute, but first we want to get a look at the immediate forecast with Tom right now. Tom? Yeah, guys, let me tell you, the snow has arrived in the city in the last uh, couple of hours. Big flakes. That's what happens when wet snowflakes stick together. Huge things, a half dollar size. That's our storm. It's the first of two that we'll see this week. And the snows you can see are coming into the backside of the area of northeast Illinois. Um, we've switched over to uh, snow during the afternoon. Lots of water. Uh, so far, only 2.8 inches at O'Hare 2-2 at Midway, but three quarters of an inch of uh, water equivalent out of this. And look at some of these uh, totals. This is heart attack snow, by the way, very wet. Two and a half times the normal amount of moisture in this uh, snow, so be careful shoveling it. Active weather isn't over. We've got another one to three inches tonight in spots four inches north and west of the city. Windy with a few flurries tomorrow and another winter storm could bear down on us Friday into Saturday. Look at the circulation. The storm is over northern Indiana right now moving away. We'll get some snow showers with that second system. Little wave tomorrow night. But here's the storm that develops and comes up here with a lot of wind and in a colder environment on Friday. And then Arctic air hits. We drop over 20 degrees below normal. That translates to nighttime lows going down below zero Sunday morning and staying in the single digits to low teens uh, the first half of next week. It's going to be cold as Arctic air is coming into the area in the wake of what could be another late week snow. So guys, lots of action. But I think these uh, big snowflakes that have been coming down through the evening rush hour, they, they have caught people's attention based on all the feedback we're getting from social media. And we'll show you some pictures of, the, of this later on. I know you have some video coming up as well. Micah, Ray, back yeah. to you. Quite a bit more. Tom, appreciate it. We'll see you again in a few minutes. Yes, indeed. And as expected, this winter weather making the evening commute particularly treacherous on the roads. The northwest suburbs are among the hardest hit, and that's where WGN's Julian Cruz joins us. Hi, Julian. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, the northwest suburbs here in Schaumburg, they are getting socked pretty good by this winter system. We should tell you that we just received word a short while ago the Schaumburg Public Libraries will be closing in a half an hour, of course, this winter weather causing all kinds of problems, lots of reports of accidents on the roads, although the vast majority of motors that we've seen are being very sensible and giving, uh, giving themselves a little extra time to stop. There are others that are driving too fast for conditions, perhaps some of those folks not wanting to accept that it's winter. In nearby Elk Grove Village tonight, a snowplow clearing the parking lot at Fox River Golf Links with cold reality setting in for Peter Messina. Now we got this. I was golfing out here uh, almost a couple of weeks ago, right before Christmas. Our next shift will come in at 7 p.m. and then go till 7 a.m. Schaumburg's Justin Brisky says his snow plows are going around the clock now that the snow is intensifying. So we have uh, 20 trucks on the road right now plowing and salting uh, 219 center lane miles of roadway. Although the, the weather conditions might seem intense, this is a relatively routine operation for the village of Schaumburg. Decreased visibility and slushy, slippery conditions apparent on I-90 as you pass O'Hare and reach Route 53. Illinois Department of Transportation snowplows working to stay ahead of the snowfall on the interstate. Whether it's IDOT or large municipalities like Schaumburg, one thing is certain. We're going to do that around the clock until everything's gone. And that's what it's going to take to get this wet and slushy snow off of the pavement. That'll be the big challenge in the hours ahead. Uh, dealing with this heavy heart attack snow, as you heard Tom say, uh, Ray and Micah is certainly going to be a challenge in the hours ahead. Back to you guys in the studio. Julian and Shannon is here to tell us more about how the traffic is looking with that crazy snow. Shannon. Yeah, and uh, you are seeing some slow speeds out there. 
expressways and your tollways and especially in the northwest suburbs where Julian was in the Schaumburg area. So uh, here's a look at your travel speeds around the area. You are seeing less volume overall as a lot of people did stay home and off the roads today. But in terms of your airports, you are seeing several cancellations. So at O'Hare, you did have an earlier ground stop that lasted for about 45 minutes this afternoon. Planes are flying once again, but you're dealing with 170 cancellations at O'Hare at Midway. That number at 40. Here's a look at uh, some of your problem spots, though. I-80 westbound at Ridge Road. You've got a crash in Manuka, so those delays extending back before I-55, so speeds of around 8 miles per hour through there. Here's a look at your northwest suburbs. Things starting to move a little bit better in the Des Plaines area, so speeds of around 48 miles per hour on I-90. Uh, still slow, though past Schaumburg and into Elgin and then on Route 53 you also had an earlier crash through there. So it does look like those speeds are starting to ease up just a little bit, but you did have several crashes out there earlier. So still dealing with those slick conditions. We'll of course keep you updated on those. It'll be with us a while. Thank you, Shannon. It bears repeating. This is just the first round of winter weather we're expecting this week. Stay with WGN TV on air, online, and on our streaming service, WGN Plus, to get the most up-to-date forecasts. Also, you can download the WGN weather app.